and today I will show you how to make tablet vogue with edges on the borders of a cloak. It's not many finds we have from cloaks in the Viking time again because the only places we have textile is often under the jewels. So you know this There is some, some samples found on the back side of those three arm folders where you can see inside of it there's two fabrics meeting each other like this inside. And they often have silage uh, which is interpreted as it is a cloak or it is a coat where they use the silage, which we know they did. They use the whole fabric. So the shape of the uh, cloak we don't have from this. We only have a few edges. But there is found there is some findings. In uh, before Viking time, we know a, a lot of rectangular cloaks that have borders where you are weaving on tablet woven band and sometimes also when you are weaving this is bone in a warp with a loom uh, they would have tablets the tablet weaving sitting on the side each side in the loom and they were weaving in the weft out through the tablet bone band and back again that is a hell of a work you can do it like that and it has been interpreted like that many times uh, tell you later why. But in the, in the Birger that's found uh, pieces of small pieces of uh, clocks where they are decorated with tablet bone bands. Some of them are only one color and very narrow um, and some of them are wider uh, in Latvia um, in Tira, Bok it's a Norse settlement. They have found uh, edges where there are fringes up on the top and on the bottom. And there's also sewn on a small table bone band, one color, uh, on the sides. And it's quite logical that there is fringes up and down because when you are weaving on a walkway with Walk with the loom, it can take you three, four, five days to build it up, especially those super fine clothes that are found also. So, if I was living back then, then I would have put, put up the wall for several clothes or for more than one outfit for sure. So, then there would be, then I would cut the wall there and there, and then I would weave in this starting and ending borders. But you know, from many, many finds. We often find this from a top of a warp weighted loom because that way of making the warp that is the width in this band. So every time you're weaving, you're pulling out all the width and in again. It's found so many places, so all over Scandinavia and England and also in, in the East. In, um, in uh, Nybo, Nygo in Denmark, has found a little um, uh, pendant showing a woman with a cloak 
is more triangle like this. I think it's maybe folded in a diagonal. It is, if it has been square, it can be folded to a triangle. Or it can be a triangle. And there's something looking like this on the side. And that could be fringes. We don't know. But it could be. Or a very special order. Here, in the corner, I have continued the warp out in a, what we call a tassel. That is also found from several founts, but more before Viking time, Hugum and um, Torsberg has an amazing, they have many of them because the, the band are quite white. So that's also found from Iron Age at least. So that is what we shall uh, do today. Uh, the wool. Uh, the wool is um, from handwovenwool.com. Uh, there's a guy, Adam, he uh, organized weaving, hand woven weaving, hand spun yarn, uh, and I really can say this is the most fantastic fabric I have ever had in my hands. You can feel it's proper wool, it is warm, and you can feel it's not um, uh, treated with anything not spinning oil, nothing. It's just woven and washed. It's a tutu twill. It's super, super nice and it's very warm just standing here with it. On. So, let's get into it. So, first thing you do when you have the fabric and you cut this cut is to take out the weft. That takes some hours, especially in a felted fabric like this, but that's how you have to do it. If I was making my fabric myself, I would of course stop weaving there and just cut off the warp on the loom and then I would have this weft, uh, warp ready for putting on the tablet weaving. You know, many, many, many finds uh, where we find the starting border uh, in the other end. Uh, that would also be tablet weaving, uh, when they are warping the warp way to do. So this is how it's done. It takes hours, <laughs> but maybe it's worth it. You see, first I have pulled out one with all the way over so I can see how far up so they will be the same before I start. And then I shall use these as the width in the band coming here. It's this is the warp. This is the salvage. So the warp and the width. This is a this fabric is from hand woven wool and it is a two two twill. So it's all the directions two over and two under, two over and two under, and then it's moves one. So that's why you get this classical diagonals, you know. And the way it's woven, uh, it is woven with the warp out like and back. So you see here, here and here, and here, and here, and here. The warp is going around the edge. But every second time it's it's turning in there. It's a little hard to see because this is filtered. This is an amazing wool. It's, it's true wool. You feel it's really good and it's warm. And it's not synthetic treated at all. It's super nice. But, so, <clears throat> and this one the warp here on the tablets are thin. So if I should turn for every quarter and put it in here in those warp uh, width, then it will be too short. This will be too short and this will be longer so it will sit like this. So that's why <coughs> you have to see your fabric and your threads what, what is good for them. But see here, I come out from the hole there, and I take the width. 
and now I do not turn. I just take it directly in again. See? So I pull the thread in inside the tape or the band. And then I turn. And because there's a little long to the next warp, I do a turn just inside the tape once. And that is what you have to try out. To, that will be individual from what thickness you have on the tape and what thickness the, the fabric is. So now you see I'm only going forth and back in the band. One time. And then now I take the next. And not turning the tablet just in again. So they are going in and out in the same shift to make sure to pull in that loop inside the band. And again I go forth and back once. I don't necessarily have to do it every time. I have to loosen up some time and see if it's sitting nice, fitting to the other one. And again, in the warp, and inside here again. Make sure to pull good so there's no open thing between here. <coughs> this is how it's found in uh, many graves all the way back to 480 uh, on uh, several cloaks. And since it's done like this, you can imagine if I use the same thread here as a warp in the band as this one and you were an archaeologist digging this out 1500 years later then um, you would think it was made in the warp way to do in the same time as they were weaving and you could do that but it's a hell of a work so this is much easier way to do it and also now you can decide for yourself if you want uh, this in the thinner yarn, that's one thing, but also if you want fringes or not. Because some places you will see, see now they are quite dense, so I can take them every time, but some places you see that the, the warp is left in a loop like this. Like this. And then turned. Now I will just do it just to show you. You see, if I make a lot of loop here, tight and tight and tight, every time I don't draw it in, take it in, I just leave it like that. Then I can cut it up after and I get princes here. But that's not what we're going to do now here. I will pull it in. <coughs> So that is how it's found on very, very many um, fabric edges. It's always started with taplin bone borders on the top. That's how you start a uh, walk with it loom. This is the leftovers from my, in, in my case I took out the weft from here, so this is the warp <coughs> that I now use in the tablet weaving as the weft. And then I take it all the way through so I have the fringes, that's what I want. So I all the time take one more. Just do normal tablet weaving. That. And again, as uh, in the edge where there's no fringes <laughs> to start with, where, where there's a selvage, you must find out how much you shall take in. 
here sometimes I have to take two in to warp threads in to make this fit the tape, the band. But that you will find out quite fast. So this is one way it's found <coughs> where the fringes are left like this. But there's also found someone where I will just show you and take it out again. Where there's one this way and then they take one of these the other way and continue. So then you ju will just get... Uh, was this the one I took out? Yeah. <laughs> then every time there's two inside of the band and I sort of close this one down. You see? Then I will get only the edge and not the fringes and in the end I will cut just simply cut this off. Cut there. That is also found in some finds. Now I will take that up again because I don't want that here. So I want the fringes, so this is how I do it here. Pull it a little in. You can also, when it's finished, you can go over and just take them down a little, as you please. See here in the end I take two each time just the last piece like this so to press the corner a little in so it's not going out in a point but it stays in an angle here so that was the end and now I shall also weave this from the band on the edge. I will also put them in, in, in this band as I walk. I want this one to end up in a tassel here. Uh, so I don't want it to be too white in the band. So I take quite much in here. That was the corner. So now I'm doing this little tassel, it's called. And I just continue on the warp, of course, from the tablet bone band. And I take, I only need two tablets, one, two, in the middle. And then, so I have taken away the other tablets on the sides. I need them as two bunch of fill, sort of, in the tassel and it's very simple to do you just take the warp is going around on the outside of those and inside the tablet so I lift the black 
tap it a little up and then I take in the warp and then I push it down and take it under and then I turn and use it as a shuttle or so what you call it and then again in and under and a quarter and press so it's like this one is going like a circle around but inside the tablet as normal it's a little tablet weave in the middle you see only those two tiny things this I found several places So now I continue to have maybe this length here and then I start on the lever 10 cm and then I start on another one so I can connect the other side of the cloak with all the tablets and weave on this, this side. So I make this tassel and this tassel before I start on this. So now I have made the tassel up to where I shall start on the cloak again. So then let's take some of this. Then I just continue the same way as I did before. In the beginning, again, take two or more. Just continue to the other side. And when I'm finished, all the way over, I put two tablets in the middle here, so I make the same tassel out here. I'll show you that after. So one of those tassel will go out here too. But 
some hours with this first. So for the other tassel we shall again only have two tablets in the middle. So I'll put them on this. Just forget about this. Put that in afterwards. Now, quarter and over and under. <coughs> and a quarter again. So now it's just ending it all about around sometimes here when they have the same length. And then just cut it off. And we have one corner down. For 
want it to go.